Hi viewers, Mr. Nyati here again with a video which is intended to basically continue and conclude section B of the GCE science paper 2 past paper which was done uh, in August this year 2025. So uh, we go straight to the question. We are now dealing with uh, question B. Eight. And uh, may I suggest that you like the video, share the video, and also leave a comment in the comment section. Uh, question 8. Question 8 says, the diagram shows some reactions of butanoic acid. So this is an organic acid, viewers. This is an organic acid, and uh, you need to know its chemical formula. So this is this is structural formula here, okay? So this is butanoic acid. Then you have this gas here, gas A and the salt B. So maybe before we go there, let's try to uh, unpack what is this all about. So number one, we have this butanoic acid reacting with the sodium metal producing gas A and salt B. We also see this uh, butanoic acid reacting with sodium carbonate and giving three products, which is salt A, gas C, and liquid D. Then this butanoic acid is heated with the ethanol, I mean methanol, and remember this is now an alcohol, Bear it in mind that this is an, an organic acid, reacting it with an, an alcohol to give us this liquid D and organic liquid E. So maybe we try to unpack this. What is gas A and salt B? Well, we need to understand that this is an acid. And each time an acid reacts with a, a metal, the product is always a gas and D. Uh, a salt. Remember that this is an acid. It is apply. It is the same application that you use on uh, inorganic acids such as hydrochloric acid, sulfuric acid. In grade 11, there is a topic, I think, which is the first topic, which is acids, bases, and salt. When we're looking at the characteristics of acids, one of them chemical characteristic is uh, is that acids react with reactive metals to produce salt and hydrogen gas. So the, it's the same case as long as it's an acid. So this acid reacts with sodium to give salt B. Now, what is the name of the acid? We, well, we've been told here that it's butanoic acid. So when butanoic acid reacts with sodium metal, the product is going to be uh, sodium butanate plus hydrogen gas. In the case of organic acids, you need to understand that the salt carries the name of the metal and the name of the organic acid with anoate. Okay? With anoate as a suffix. So, the product of this is going to be sodium butanoate. If, it, if there was ethanoic, uh, ethanoic acid, you would have said sodium ethanoate plus hydrogen gas. Okay? That is the product. So what we are saying is that if a question, and when you see this, just know that you will be required to name A, B, you know, C, D, blah, 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 and all those things. Just like the question is saying, a, B, C, and D are different substances. Identify uh, by the na by name A, B, C, and D. So we've already identified uh, A and B. So here also B is the same thing, sodium butanoate. Why? Because we have sodium carbonate here. And whenever an acid reacts with a carbonate, the products are three, which is the salt, carbon dioxide gas, and water. So liquid D is water and the gas C is carbon dioxide gas. Okay? And then when you heat this, you heat 
uh, uh, butanoic acid and methanol and you add sulfuric acid as a dehydrating agent you are basically forming what is known as an ester and this ester will be called methyl butanoid in this case because we have meth methanol and we have butano uh, butanoic acid as the acid so we are going to have those products so let's let's get into writing this so we are on question b b8 where we are asked to find a b c and d so a is hydrogen gas that's what we've discovered B is sodium butanoid. D, no, 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 C, not D, but C is carbon dioxide and D is water. D is water. Okay. And this is under organic chemistry basically. So we move on to question uh, B uh, to question uh, B. Name and draw the displayed structure of E. Okay. Well, the, uh, the name of the structure E. Question B. The name is uh, is now. What you need to understand here is that uh, maybe let me just do this. What you need to understand here is that whenever you have an alcohol plus an organic acid, the product is usually an ester, okay, and water. Now, how do you consider the naming? Well, the naming of an ester, you always start with an alcohol. If, for example, you have ethanol reacting it with methanoic acid, the product is going to be uh, ethyl methanoid. Because when naming an ester, you always start with an alcohol, and then you end with the, the acid. What do I mean by that? The ethanol changes to ethyl, and the methanoic acid will change to methanoid. Methanoid, of course, plus water, okay? That would be the product. That's one thing you should understand. So in this case, we have methanol as the alcohol and the butanoic acid as the organic acid. So what would be the name? We start with methyl butanoid. That is the product, and that's the name of the, 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 the ester. So we're going to have the name as methyl butanoid. Now, this is what is going to be produced, plus water. Now, we need to know its structure. How do you write its structure? Well, its structure is usually written like this, because you have a situation where butanoic acid, whose structure is H, then you have C here, okay? And then you have your C. So this is our butanoic acid. And uh, the other one, of course, is methanol. So now, how is the structure going to be formed? Oh, that's the thing that you need to know. Well, what you need to understand is that this will be uh, bonded together and they will form a water molecule. And then these will be bonded together by a linkage which is going to be called an ester linkage and its structure 
is going to be like this. Uh, this is what is going to be produced, of course, plus water here. Okay. And this is what we are calling as methyl uh, butanoate. Okay. This is what we are calling as methyl butanate. Now, it doesn't matter really. This can be this side, but ensure that you respect the linkage here. This linkage here is what we call uh, ester linkage. Okay? This is an ester linkage, this one here. And this is called methyl butanoate. So this is its structure. You can even write it, this one can start, but it means that this one must be on the other side. All right, so the structure. Now, looking at the question, the way it's been phrased, its structure then would be like this, something which looks like this, something like this. This would be its structure. And um, I'm trying to paraphrase this part because uh, there are so many videos that I did in the past concerning the organic chemistry part, the naming of the esters and how ester linkages are formed. I also, I think, explained on terily or nylon and all those things. I think I talked about them. So this is about question B8 and I hope, ladies and gentlemen, this was helpful to you. Thank you. Bye-bye.